Hi everybody, this is Linda. Um, I had a dream last night and the Lord is pushing me to put this not only on my website, which I have it on my website, um, but also pushing me to do a video since Google has me throttled back so far. So few people see my website anymore. But um, he wants me to do a video so more people will get the message. And it's entitled, I Had a Dream for 2023. And I'm going to read it to you. Well, we made it through another year. As bad as it was, many did not make it through the year. Many didn't trust in the Lord and let fear overtake them into taking a product into their bodies that ended up killing them. But we enter into a new year where many new things will be coming at us. Just remember, God is the same today as he was in 2022. If he got you through 2022, he will get you through 2023 if you keep the faith. I had a dream last night. I was in a fire, a very engulfing fire, and there were people with me. I kept praying and was led through the fire by the Lord telling me to come out. I made it through the fire unharmed, even though I had to walk right through the flames. The people with me didn't follow me and perished. I don't know what this means, and I don't know if it was a prophetic dream. I would guess it was telling me that I will be going through some very terrible times, and I'm, follow and I'm to follow Jesus' command, even though it might look impossible to get through. I will get through unharmed, but only if I follow him. I sure hope this wasn't a pathetic dream. As I was relaying this dream to you now, I wonder if it's telling you and I that there might be some very bad things coming at us in 2023. But if we listen to Jesus and follow his command, he will get us through without even so much as the smell of smoke on us. Just like in 2021, 2022, since we didn't take the product that was being forced on the world population, we got through the fire without so much as the stench of smoke. Over 200 million people worldwide didn't make it because the so-called cure was worse than the virus. They let fear and threats lead them instead of Jesus leading them. I believe that the representation of me in the dream is the church and the representation of the people with me in the fire are the carnal Christians in the world. I believe the fire is whatever the evil ones are going to throw at us this year. That's how I see this dream. The World Economic Forum met and has this one of many agendas that concerns me. Theme number four, and you can find this on their website. Preparing for the next pandemic requires ending health disparities. Dr. Robert Malone wrote in his substack, quote, when I started to read and unpack what theme number four was saying and found that it stated right up front, where just 13% of people are vaccinated compared to 75% of people in high-income countries, I knew they must be make, mainly talking about Africa. I've seen that statistic before, so I guessed Africa right off the bat before reading any further, and I was right. I questioned the 13% metric and wanted to double-check it so based upon a total population in Africa of 1.4 billion, based on this research, and there's a link, 373.1 million Africans have been fully vaccinated as of December the 21st, 2022, making the percentage closer to 37%, still a relatively low percentage compared to many developed countries. Quote, investing in health systems 
and regional bodies like Africa, CDC and African Medicines Agency must be a key priority, said Paul Kagame, president of Rwanda. Quote, we have to act in the full expectation that there will be another pandemic. Let that sink in a minute. So the World Economic Forum is telling us they plan to do another pandemic and starting it in Africa. Is this the fire that my dream mentions or is it something else? And if you recall, uh, the elites had their tabletop games, so to speak, where another pandemic of coronavirus got out. And that was just recently, so I think it was October. So uh, could, could this be it? I don't know. I've read on the news reports that Big Pharma is going to start putting mRNA technology in all medicines. There was no breakdown as to when or if only new medications being developed or if they will remanufacture all existing medications to include the mRNA technology. They simply said that mRNA technology is such a good delivery system, they are now going to include it in all medications. I found it interesting that they just didn't say what this mRNA was delivering. So we will have to trust in the Lord for our healing or pray over any new medications we are prescribed. I'm trusting that since Big Pharma is all about profits, they will not remanufacture existing medications for a long time to come. I know they are developing a flu shot, quote unquote, that will supposedly cover the regular flu and COVID, and it will have the mRNA technology in it. Perhaps this is what the news report was referring to and not all medications, even though they did use the term all medications. Just pray over your medications like you do your food. The Lord will protect you. Let 2023 bring you closer to God. Let it make you appreciate him more. Let 2023 bring you the peace of Jesus, not the fear of the evil ones. Let joy and peace and love surround you in the new year. Follow him when he tells you to do something or not to do something. Just like last year and the year before. It will then, it, it will save your life. Like I have said always, commune with the Lord. But even more than usual these days, there, there is where you will find peace beyond all understanding, where joy and love will be found. That's where you will find a happy new year. Okay, I've done what the Lord pushed me to do. Um, I have nothing else to add to it. So thank you very much for listening. Have a good day.